I'm going to show you how to build a painting program with App Inventor. And uh, I've got three windows open in App Inventor. I've got my component designer, I've got my blocks editor where we'll show the behavior of the program, and I've got an emulator. Um, so let's get started. So, so to do painting and animation, those kinds of apps, you're going to use a canvas. So I just dragged on a canvas. And in my canvas, you're almost always going to have it the width of it fill the parent, so it'll go all the way across. So this is where we're going to actually draw, or the user's going to draw things on the screen. Um, for my height, I'm just going to make it 300 pixels. Um, that'll leave us some room for some buttons and, and some other things. So, so this is my, my canvas for drawing. And you know now I'm going to just show some simple drawing behavior to let the user draw. So I'm going to go over to the Blocks Editor and choose My Blocks Canvas. And I'm just going to first let the user draw some circles. So if the user touches the canvas, this event will be triggered. And Canvas has a nice function called Draw Circle. Okay, and it, you tell it where to draw the circle. And, and where we're going to draw the circle is exactly right where the person is touched. Um, now it's a little weird. You think you could just grab this X and Y and put it in here because this is the X Y coordinate of where the user is touched. Uh, but you have to go over to My Definitions and grab the X from there and also the Y. And that's going to, so now wherever the user touches, I'm going to draw a circle at the same location. Um, for radius, I'm just going to use a number. And you can choose a number from the palette like that. And I'll just put five, so five pixels for drawing circles. And voila, I've now got a program where the user can click on the canvas and draw circles. Okay. Well, not too exciting, but we're we're getting there. We'll add, we'll add some bells and whistles. Um, second thing I want to do is just let's make it so they can draw lines. And drawing lines is a little more complicated. And you know, as you see, this dragged event I just dragged on is 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 quite a bit more complicated. There's not just a single point that we care about, but there's these other parameters. And in fact, the key ones are this prevex and previous y, current x and current y. So, you know, you got to think about as the user, you know, in the emulator you're using the mouse, but on the phone you'll use your finger. But as he drags um, his finger across the screen, you're going to get a bunch of these events triggered, like hundreds or even thousands. And each time it gets triggered, previous is going to tell you, you know, the previous spot of the finger and current is the current spot of the finger. And really, to draw lines, um, we just want to draw little tiny lines for every time that event happens. Um, anyway, let me build it and, and hopefully that will help. So I'm going to grab the draw line, not the draw circle. And I want to go from the previous point to the current point. Once again, I'll grab it from my definitions. My previous x and pre y will be the current, you know, the first point. And then I'll grab current x and current y for the second point on my lines. Okay, so if I just touch, meaning I click on the screen or touch my finger on the screen and lift, it should draw a circle. But now if I drag, every time this event gets triggered, which is a lot, it should draw a tiny little line. So let's see what happens. So if I click, I still got a circle. If I click and drag, it looks like this smooth, con you know, continuous thing. But really, what's happening is a bunch of events are being fired, and these little tiny lines are being drawn from previous to current. But there's so many of them, it looks like a continuous drawing. So anyway, that's part one, and and we'll get to, you know, adding pick or colors to the drawing, and be able to change the size of things in the next lesson.